hello friends welcome to insight learners so uh, in this video we shall discuss the bitwise global test pattern as many of them added comment like they need the updated test pattern for the bitwise global so here is the updated 2024 test pattern for the bitwise global so uh, here the two test patterns are there the role one for the two roles the role one is trainee programmer and the second role it role it is for full stack developer uh, so you can we can we shall see the in detail complete test pattern and the questions that were asked in the bitwise global so for the role one that is trainee programmer so the like there are four different rounds the first will be the aptitude test and the group discussion and then there will be technical coding round which is pen and paper based exam and fourth round it's a combination of technical as well as hr interview so these are the four rounds included in the selection process for the bitwise global that is for the role trainee programmer so as discussed the round one will be the online aptitude test and it includes two different sections so uh, the exam it will be around uh, so the 45 minutes to one hour and uh, so it includes two different sections the first will be the aptitude test and the second section will be the SQL so in aptitude section so the various parts includes logical reasoning based questions quantitative aptitude as well as verbal part and the second section so there will be SQL in which uh, so there will be questions related to some queries like you need to fetch the records and display like that there will be some questions SQL queries and there will be MCQ questions on joins DML that is data manipulation language as well as GDL that is data definition language queries so you can just uh, prepare on the same so this is all included in the first round that is aptitude round so once you clear that second will be the group discussion so the group discussion so it will be offline and the topics like few of the topics that were asked in the group discussion round was the love marriage versus arranged marriage and the second one poverty in india so you are going to pick the cheats and uh, whatever topic you are going to get so you are going to speak about that in few minutes and uh, so once you clear that so third will be the coding round so it's a pen and paper based exam and the duration of this it will be around 15 to 30 minutes so they are going to give some questions like three questions in which you are going to write the pseudo code or the logic for that program like uh, execute both if and else statements so there will be simple questions as well as some like tricky difficulty level questions second will be the remove adjacent characters from a string and then the sum of sum of number until a single digit number or swap the two numbers without using a third variable so these are the few basic coding questions which will be asked in the coding round so once you are done with that the fourth will be the technical followed by hr interview so this interview experience like interview it starts like inter introduce about yourself and they are going to ask you about the academic projects and what is your role in that project and uh, followed by the maximum questions will be based on sql itself like you are going to prepare on sql concepts like the various functions triggers then curses procedures in the indexes and concepts on data integrity as well as data consistency and uh, prepare on joins as well as transitive dependency and various normalization concepts so in the technical interview so they are going to focus more on sql itself so just be prepared on sql concepts and about various sql queries and all so you can just prepare for that so this is the complete test pattern and the selection process for the trainee programmer and then coming to the rule two that is for the full stack developer so it also includes four rounds first will be the complete technical assessment which includes the coding so complete coding round and followed by technical interview and there will be managerial interview followed by hr interview so this is also the updated test pattern as per 2024 in which the test was conducted in the month of may so you can just go to this so the first round so technical assessment 
so in the technical assessment there will be coding challenges and there will be tasks related to front end as well as back end development database management and the system architecture so you need to be thorough in data structures and algorithms so there will be coding challenges like you need to clear all the test cases in order to qualify for the next round so there will be two coding questions like one will be on arrays or strings and second will be on dsa so you can just prepare on the same and there will be few tasks like designing and all they are going to give some task which includes complete front-end technology back-end and database so this was the sample question which was asked like you are going you need to develop a feature which allows the user to upload the images to a web application using react for the front end and you are going to use the node.js for the back end and database mongodb for database storage and uh, and also the second was you need to outline the ai endpoints api endpoints and the data flow and you need to design the database schema for the same so this was asked in the round one that is technical assessment and then coming to the round two that is technical interview so they are going to ask about the full stack development projects whichever you have implemented and there will be questions which will be mainly focused on the frameworks like react angular vue.js for front end and for the back end like node.js express or zango and apart from that there will be few scenario based questions and the behavioral based questions and also they are going to ask you to design a scalable and efficient web applic uh, web application architecture for the same so these are the areas in, in which you need to focus for the front end development you need to be familiar with html css javascript and the various fundamental con concepts such as html semantics the syntax and all and the css box model and the javascript DOM that is document object model manipulation various event handling concepts and browser compatibility so you need to prepare on these concepts and then coming to the front end frameworks you need to be familiar with the react.js angular or vue.js and also the various features and how you have implemented that in the in your projects you are going to prepare on that and coming to the backend development like server side languages and the frameworks you need to be proficient with at least one object oriented programming language it can be java python or javascript or ruby and the frameworks like spring boot zango or express js so you need to be strong in at least one of these skills and coming to the database you need to have basic understanding on relational and sql databases and including sql queries and normalization indexing and various database design principles and also like if you like it is good to have knowledge on other databases at least one or two databases mysql postgre sql mongodb or coachdb and then coming to the api development and integration so the first thing restful apis you need to be strong in that like designing and implementing restful apis various http methods get put like all the methods and status codes authentication and serialization concepts like json and or xml so you need to have a hands-on practice on everything and then uh, uh, third party api integration like handling authentication integrating with external apis data retrieval and error handling so you can just prepare on these concepts and then coming to the version control and deployment tools so you need to have knowledge on git which is must like git fundamentals various git commands and branching merging how to resolve the concepts and how to resolve the conflicts and collaboration in team environment and coming to the deployment so you need to be familiar with the deployment tools like docker kubernetes or cloud platform such as aws or google cloud platform so this is all about the areas you need to focus and apart from that you need to have knowledge on system designing at least bit knowledge on that like scalable architecture and monolithical architecture and all like designing scalable and uh, you need to design the scalable and web 
application and handling the high traffic ensuring fault tolerance and some of the application security like you need to understand the best practices for securing web applications including authentication authorization as well as data protection so these are the main areas which you need to focus for the technical interview so some of the sample questions that was asked are you need to explain like you need to differentiate between the client side routing as well as server side routing in a web application like how you are per going to perform routing and all so you're going you're going to explain it in detail and uh, how would you select the routing approach based on the project's requirements so like how you're going to implement in react how you're going to implement in spring boot so different ways you're going to explain them and once you clear the technical interview round three will be managerial interview so this round is mainly conducted to check your project management skills how good you are and your teamwork and the communication abilities so the sample questions like you're going to describe the project and uh, so have you coordinated with front-end and back-end with front-end and back-end developers to deliver the feature in a deadline within the deadline and uh, and also the team communication and collaboration among the team members so this will be asked and the last round it will be HR interview so these questions will be mainly focused on your career goals then professional development and whether you are cultural fit for that company or not so the sample questions it will be like uh, what makes you interest in pursuing your career in full stack development and um, so the latest trends and technologies in this field you are going to you need to do thorough research before like which are the various uh, like trends and technologies latest technologies and all you need to have ideas on that and then you need to share a project which you have implemented with the new technology stack so this will be the these are the sample questions which was asked in hr interview so this is the complete in detail about both the roles like the test pattern for trainee programmer as well as full stack development so you can just focus on these areas and you can prepare on the same so hope this will be helpful for you so you can just go to these videos thank you friends for watching and do subscribe our channel for more updates